Hi everybody, I'm Gloria Hester and today we are working with a yogic breathing technique called Kapalabhati. Since we've been learning about how to hold state, um, I want to teach you Kapalabhati because I really know that it will serve you well. Um, one of the quickest ways to change your physiology is to change your breathing. So Kapalabhati is um, sometimes known as um, breath of fire. And when you're first learning to practice Kapalabhati, there are a few things that you want to keep in mind. One is that Kapalabhati, the focus of the breath is lower abdomen. And we learn through doing, so um, you're going to be learning this as you're doing it. So the movement, the main area that you're focusing on is lower abdomen. That's where you're allowing this movement to take place. And you're wanting to keep, keep your upper body more still. There will be some movement there naturally, but you're learning. It is a practice. So you're learning to keep your upper body, chest area, collarbone area, sternum area, more in stillness so that the rapid movement is taking place um, with the breath through the nostrils and the lower abdomen. So let's go ahead. We are going to do three rounds of Kapalabhati breathing. And then we're going to rest in silence for a little bit so that you can feel the effects of Kapalabhati for yourself. And um, so let's go ahead and begin. So what you'll do is you'll place either hand on your lower abdomen, completely up to you. Place one hand on your lower abdomen, just really low, uh, close to the top of your pubic bone. Allow your other hand to rest on your knee or your thigh, and you can let your thumb and forefinger rest in chin mudra. Sit grounded down through your sits bones, relaxing your legs, bringing your head in alignment with your spine, bringing your ears to rest right over your shoulders, shoulders to rest in alignment right over your hips. Take a few breaths and just natural breaths, allowing your body to relax. Natural breath on the inhale will expand and lift your body slightly. Allowing your body to soften on your exhale. On your next inhalation, inhale deeply, preparing for Kapalabhati, inhaling. Hold the breath, inhale, exhale through the nose. Exhale back toward the spine, and when you're ready, holding that state of being as long as you'd like. When you're ready to take a breath, whenever you're ready, you can take a breath. We're going to rest and breathe naturally two more breaths. On your next breath, inhale deeply into your abdomen, preparing for Kapalabhati. Inhale. Fill up with breath. On 
your last exhale, keep your abdomen pressed back toward your spine until you're ready to inhale. Breathe naturally. On your next inhalation, breathe in deeply, preparing for Kapalabhati. Inhale. Breathe naturally. Release both hands onto your knees or thighs. Bring both thumbs and forefingers into Chin Mudra. Allow your chin to be slightly tilted toward your chest. Feel the effects of Kapalabhati breathing. As you breathe naturally, Allow yourself to feel any subtle changes in your nervous system, in your state of being. Any changes in your body. Shifts in your awareness. As you come back to this again and again and practice these three rounds of Kapalabhati breathing, you may, um, as you become more used to the practice, you may wish to um, increase your number of rounds to a number that feels good for you. You can do certainly a lot more rounds of Kapalabhati um, whenever you are ready. So just remember... um, that it is a practice and be gentle with yourself, be kind with yourself, Um, do the practice with um, a sincere heart and always let your feedback about how you're feeling be your guide. Sometimes when you do breath work, you will um, have a lot of feelings to come up and that's completely natural. Uh, What you don't want to do is shut those down. Just allow those to move and, um, Really be there for yourself like no one else has ever been for you. Um, Be your own best friend and enjoy the practice of Kapalabhati and um, um, other aspects of pranayama. And I'm so grateful to share this with you. Um, Yoga has been truly a gift in my life and I really hope that it serves you well. And if you would like more of these kinds of teachings and this kind of experience and these kinds of learnings, 
please reach out to me at GloriaHester.com. And if you want to come to a live event, you can check out Tribe. So to go directly to Tribe, you can go to GloriaHesterYoga.com forward slash Tribe. And I look forward to connecting with you there. Hope you have an awesome day. And let me know how Kapalabhati works for you. Reach out to me. You can private message me and let me know how Kapalabhati works for you today. Namaste.